Welcome back, everybody. Just down here in the greenhouse getting some vegetables for the upcoming Mammoth Tame. And you guess you can see there's some differences here. Uh, I've been pulling stuff off of this base and moving it up into the main base. I've left the greenhouse because I think I might want to build something different, but I'm not sure yet. I may end up just taking this and moving it up, up next to the base up there. But other than that, um, not a whole lot has changed. I've just been farming up some stuff to, um, to get ready for this tame. So uh, let me show you what we got. All right. So before I show you everything we got prepped for the, the tame, uh, let's take a look at how the base is. So the front's pretty much how you remember it in the last video. But... Um, I've moved some stuff inside, so now we have a basic crafting area or cooking area set up over on this side. So we've got our our grill, our cooking pot, we've got some water taps up here, our preserving bins. Went ahead and set up some beer barrels for making the beer. Already got a bunch made. Here's our refrigerators. So as we... As we progress, we'll add more to this area. Upstairs, we've got a little bit more storage, some beds. I've already put up our trophy or our artifact. And we'll expand this out as needed for, uh, for more trophies and artifacts. I realized I kept saying in the last video that we were going to have a place up here for loadout mannequins. Unfortunately, loadout mannequins aren't until one of the extinction maps. So it's going to be a while before I have some loadout mannequins. So to make do, we've got these S plus mannequins. It is not the same. Not the same at all. Uh, you can put armor in there, but that's about it. So I threw my, my ghillie armor on there. I made up some hide. There's a hide on there, which I don't really wear a lot around here because it's so hot. And then... I guess this guy has more ghillie. Well, this mannequin was supposed to be for the gear I'm wearing right now, the the hide, or the uh, cloth, but I don't know, I guess I had some extra ghillie and I just threw it on there. So, either way, so this is the little living area. Come down the stairs, we've got our courtyard, we've got our argent sitting there, we've got our, our front and back doors, we've got feeding trough, I've got the pterodon out uh, the one that you would have seen in the short this is the 180 that we found over on the beach there i've got a mating and just uh and give me some eggs so that i can start trying to get a good stat imprinted dino to ride uh, i've got my other basic crafting stuff set up over here so the forges the smithy a little storage box there for trap material i've got the s plus smithy Fabricator, which I called the replicator in the last video. And we've got a little table over here with a campfire and some campfires just for making more charcoal. And then I have my mortar and pestles stacked right there. This is going to be main storage over here as well. The materials. And I've labeled some of them trying to be somewhat organized, but it's probably just going to be a mess anyway. Then upstairs, I have not done anything here. I don't know what I'm going to do up here yet, but there we are. Other than that, the only other significant change was I really decided I hated the roof. So I took out the, the, the two peaks that were here before, and I just flattened this roof out. Uh, I also reduced the gables down to three instead of a four across because... I don't know. I just didn't like the way the four looked. But I did the other side to match. But that is where we are with the base. So let me show you what we got for taming here. All right. We got the bird loaded up with all the taming materials that I'm going to be taking for the mammoth. I've got a drop trap. I'm fairly certain that our, our normal 2x3 would have been sufficient, but I'm going ahead and doing a 3x3. Three three. And oh, I guess a baby was just born. 
but we're going to do the, the three by three and I got some spike walls to set up and I got a bunch of crops. I'm not going to need nowhere near this many crops. I don't think, but we'll, uh, we'll see. We're bringing with us regardless. If nothing else, I can eat them. Let's see what that was. So if you don't know the, the, uh, terminal here will pick up newborns and I, I guess the temperature here is good enough for the pterodons to eggs to hatch. I thought it was too hot, but I guess not. Uh, so yeah, so we got some baby pterodons here and they stink. They're awful. So I'm going to destroy them. Don't look. For that I also bred some otters. I got two Shmima otters here. I don't really care about stats on these guys right now. Uh, I just have them for a shoulder pet. Like that one right there. That's the breeder female that's on my shoulders there. But anyway, so we got the trap. We got the crops. I got my long neck down here. And 192 darts. Please let 192 be enough. There's really no reason it shouldn't be. But, you know, you never know. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until it turns daytime again because I don't want to start heading that way in the night. So, let me give it a second for the time to pass, and we'll be right back. All right, it's turning daytime now. I uh, went ahead and swapped my cloth for hide since we're going to be in a colder area. What we're going to do is we're going to go kind of just to the edge of the snow. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go just to the edge of the snow. We're going to set up our trap and see what we can find. I kind of did scout around there a little bit when I was getting some oil. Uh, I didn't really see anything super promising. But, I mean, we'll have to see. So let me uh, fly this slow turkey over there, and I'll bring you back. Of course, I say it's turning daytime, and then fog rolls in because it's the island. So it might as well be nighttime. All right, here we are. The edge of the cold. Let's see if we can find some mammoths. I don't want to tame a bunch of mam. Ooh, there's mammoths already. I don't. Well, 114. I really want to get as high a level as I can. Twenty-four. Um. Man, this is a really nice area to tame it in. Got a pig up there. Eggs are easy to deal with. I'm gonna just grab them with the bird. 60. Thank you. Hello. I just know I'm gonna find a max level one that's gonna be right next to a freaking UD. One's getting eaten by wolves. That one has been eaten by wolves. Ooh. Uh, no, do not get distracted by Argents. Let's see what we can find. I think this is a pretty decent area over here as well. Except for all the wolves. Those aren't wolves, those are pigs. A pack of pigs. Alright. Let me scout around a bit. See what we can find. I'm not really equipped to make deep excursions into the into the cold here. So I think we're gonna go back to that 114. And that's what we're going to end up with. Uh, 
Put this down at the beginning. I thought for sure I saw the 78 beauty here. I thought for sure that one of these was going to be a really good one because that's my luck. But. Let's get back over there. That 114 and we'll uh we'll knock it out. I'm really kind of nervous about this. I saw those wolves over there. All right. There we go. Hmm. Might have to kill this one first. Okay. They put. So you'll be all right. but good enough. That. Does not have the weight for it. Uh, all right. Time to go to sleep, but oh, well, and that's why I need 149 or 94 darts. going to be a lot of darts. Why? Why? There were no wolves a second ago. Now there's every wolf in the world. They all just decided to come over here. See what we can do about this. All right. All right. Everybody just calm down.
right, back to the mammoth. Hopefully those pigs went somewhere else. Don't see them. Oh, what? Of course you can't pick up a Sarko. What am I doing? Oh. Did you just hit my mammoth? Couldn't. It had to have attacked it. Oh, oh my lord. This is, it, I have no words. I have no words. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna get these get these fences out. Get them blocked up. Get them safe. But they, why do they even why was it even up here? I didn't know Sarko's spawn in the cold. All right, so I think we're in a spot, a better spot to tame this mammoth. I'm going to get out some citronol. It doesn't really matter whatever crop it is. I'll throw it in here. Really hope that Sarko didn't hit it, but it did. I I don't care. It is what it is. I just need a wood farmer. I can worry about perfect tames if that's a thing that I need to worry about later. But right now I just need the I just need the wood. So put this thing on the tracker. Like that. Oh, I can't believe that Sarko out of nowhere. Alright, we're gonna leave this guy to eat its crops it's gonna be a long wait more mammoth what oh but it's a male is my other one a female that wasn't there a second ago and it wasn't up on the hill because i went and checked on the top of the hill let's drop this over there Yeah, that's a female. And that's a male. We could have a breed pair right now. Oh, but I don't want to tame a 174 right now. And I don't have another trap. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to leave it out in the open? I can't just not knock it out. And it's in this little cove, so it's probably okay. All right, little buddy. Big buddy. Time for nappies. Okay. And you would think I would be able to hit it. It's the size of an elephant. But apparently not. Only problem is that it's going to start running and probably go straight into the water. see there she goes he goes and straight toward the water of course oh yeah come back come back don't go too far that way i want you to protect it against these rocks Well, the tree's going to sleep now. Oh, that should have hit. Come on, get up. Good oh, yeah. Nice. 
And now we have two mammoths down. And one trap. This one's just gonna have to sit in the open. I don't... There's nothing else I can do. Alright. Let's let these two... Do their thing. And I'll bring you back when they're both tamed. Been running around grabbing some drops while these guys came up. It has been a long process. But it looks like that. Oh, just in time. What? You're at 100%. Wake up. Probably like 99.99%, .99%, not quite 100. Just rounding it up. While well, that one's finishing off its last bite of food, let's see what we got over here. All right, got up at 164. Put you on a cryopod. Check out the stats you got. Oh, there we go. Let's do them the same time. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at these mammoths. I, I did not expect to get a breed pair. Here we go. 258. Nice. Alright. Let's go over into the safety of the trap. Relative safety. Um. Alright. Let's take a peek. So, well, let's start with this one. We got a sneak peek already, but. Okay, so it got up at 164. Uh, highest stat is melee. Nothing super special. This one. Um, I am happy that, about the melee and the health and the stamina. Disappointed in the weight, though. And look at all those points in the movement speed. Good lord. Alright. Well, we'll take him back to base. It's it's a farmer. You know, it's better than not having a farmer. And I'm not going to have to get wood with a hatchet anymore. So there's that. Alright. Let me uh, pick all this up. And uh, we'll head back. Between the otter and the hide, I, uh, I didn't get cold too much. We had a blizzard come through, and that that's kind of what spurred me on to, to go hunt for for drops. I started getting a little chilly. I went over to a little bit of a warmer area and collected drops. You know what? Let's stop in at Hidden Lake over here. See what the beavers are up to. We got a level 24, we got a level 18. Let's get rid of this guy. And we'll go down there and get some, uh, Get whatever's in the in the dam. All right. Yes, piranhas. Yes, I know. Alright, we got a little bit of cement and paste. We got some rare flowers. Let's see what's in this drop here. There's 
some more ghillie pieces, some crop stuff. Nothing too great. Um, that was the only dam. Yes, it was. All right, let's head back. Finally, home sweet home. I think I might want to put something up here so that we can land the birds up top here. I might build walkways. I might just jump off the edge like that. Uh, I might build walkways here and here to kind of go across. What's going on here? Too hot. See, I thought it was too hot. Let's we'll see. This guy picking them up. Picked up two. We've been out of render range though, so it hasn't exactly been, they haven't been laying eggs. Try to get, come down bird. Try to not land up there when I don't have a way to get back up. But yeah, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll add something to, to the top there. All right. Mammoth. Well, I made one mammoth saddle. And I make another. I don't have enough metal yet. I need to go out and do some farming for stuff. So let's take the big guy. Put the saddle on it that we have in the bird. There's that. You know what? Let's get rid of all this stuff. Um, she over there. All right. Let's test this guy out. So we got that guy. We got that guy for berries. And then we have the stomp. Stomp is what gets the wood. Right? Stomp is not what gets the wood. Right click gets wood. Right click does not get wood. Wait a second. There we go. Okay. It is the stomp that gets the wood. There we go. I was getting worried. Can you get this explore note, please? Can you not? Maybe you can't get it. Get that explore note. You're too big. Come on. Oh, that stinks. Look at that wood gathering, though. Just deforesting the place. Probably gonna do all weight into this guy. Yeah. Oh boy. Hello. All right. Oh, out of the way, berries. A lot of berries too. 88 wood from that little. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad I went with this over the beaver. I mean, I mean the beaver is nice because you can carry it around with the argent, but this is so much more fun. Oh, stomp! The Get back to the base. The unfortunate thing 
that I didn't realize until right this very second was it's not going to go through this gate. Oh boy. Definitely did not think of that. Okay, just walk. What I can do though. Wood. Three thousand wood. Not bad. What about thatch? Not much thatch, but I didn't get it for thatch. I got it for wood. What else you got in you? That. Right. Oh, park you right there. I'm gonna get out both mammoths and let's get a baby, a baby mammoth. Where'd I put the other mammoth? In here? Um, yes, right there. All right. Mating. Enable mating. All right, making a baby mammoth. Hopefully the we get a good stat roll right off the bat. And then I can use that one as my farmer. Whoa. Already? A right. minute and a half for that. Oh, whoa. Where are you going? Dude, why do I do that sometimes? Did I do that to you too? Nope, I did not. And I really, I really just want to see the uh, stat roll we get for the first baby. All right, I'm gonna let that, let her uh, gestate, and then we'll come back. All right, she has done the thing, and. The baby is in here. Uh, boy. Okay. Um, well, I'm not happy with the health. Uh, it's not too bad. Ah, that can go. Get out of here. Yeah, it's, I mean, the health is... Not great. She didn't get the father's health. But. Yeah, you know what? I don't like it. Gotta go. Destroyed. Alright. So, while I was waiting for the, uh, the baby to be born, I went ahead and did the thing I was talking about. And I made a ramp up to the roof. And I put up some rails. And now we have a, we can park the birds up here. The flyers can go up here. So here's the, the new roof. Uh, the ramps needed a little bit of a platform. So I had to uh, build this out a little bit. So that changed the roof slightly there. And I'm not exactly happy with this. I think I'm just going to get rid of these two ceilings and that'll, that may fix it for me. Yeah, I think that's better. I was going to try to continue the rail across the front there, but I think I like this better. All right. Very nice. Oh, 
throw these extra things back up in the... I've got a, a box up here next to the beds where I'm putting extra building pieces. Like all those extra sloped roofs. I actually had to change out some of the sloped roofs, so I have even, even less. I'm going to take these guys up there, too. Maybe I'm going to leave them out so that we can get, get little babies. And on there. Nice cushion. Good save. Thank you. Just leave them up here to, to breed. Alright. Park this dude. Alright everybody, I think that's gonna do it for today. We got our we got our mammoth out here farming for some wood. And uh I'm pretty happy about that. I was very much done with trying to get the wood by hand or by hatchet. So uh, next video, what we're going to work on is building an outpost over in the redwoods so that I can start getting some sap and we'll work on getting some beehives going. All right. Well, I appreciate watching and until next time, take it easy.